Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you guys are having a great day. So this is a clip from a previously recorded video. This is a much shorter clip of it. But as always, not financial advice for entertainment only. Do your own research. And I'm Invest Applying Closing Companies. And if you enjoy this type of content, hit the like button, subscribe. Helps me out tremendously. And let's get into the clip. Let's take a look at the next one here, which is going to be on Terrorwolf. Terrorwolf actually had a fantastic month here in June. So here's a production update for them. In June 2023, highlights self-mined 347 Bitcoin in June with an average production rate of 11.6 Bitcoin per day. Power cost averaging 9.3 thousand per Bitcoin produced. That's really good. Um, that's really, really good here. That's basically at three and a half cents per kilowatt in June. That's really good. Fully commissioned building two at Lake Marinara facility and achieved 110 megawatts of self mining capacity site wide. So that's good there. You can see all their numbers here. They are at uh, 4.9 exahash here average. Um, so that's an average. It could be up a little bit higher than that, but this is what they reported as the average. So basically, if they were lower at the beginning of the month and higher at the end of the month, we're getting the average of those. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. Management commentary, there is nothing else here. You guys can read over that if you like. Uh, and then you can always find this, obviously, at, through Yahoo Finance, where they post it. And let's take a look at the numbers that I have for Terrawolf. So Terrawolf, like I said, had a really good month here. They're actually, I think, one of the only ones, maybe one or two of the other ones that have actually provided some good numbers here. So shares outstanding for them is $212 million. The Stock price is at $2.39. They're valued at $506 million right now. They've had an okay run in the last 12 weeks. They're up 21% from 12 weeks ago, 9.4% up from eight weeks ago, four weeks ago. They're up 31.6% in the last week, they were down 2.78%. Current hash rate is at 4.9, future hash rate is at 4.9. They're pretty much fully installed, I think, uh, based on numbers, and I may have an error there, but I'll have to take a look at it. Uh, as far as HODL, they don't HODL anything. They sell everything that they mine monthly. You can see their BTC production here. Nice, steady growth upwards. Love seeing that, that's always great. Monthly diff uh, difference of BTC mined. There you can see that they got little spikes here and there when they install more miners. That's good to see. BTC HODL is at zero. BTC per exahash efficiency, 70.82. This is actually pretty good. Uh, BTC sold, like I said, they sell everything that they mine each month. Hash rate is now at 4.9. They were at four for a couple months there. So that's a nice increase as well. I love seeing that. BTC mine revenue, love seeing this also. The revenue continuing to grow upwards, right? So when they do get fully installed, the next part is going to be seeing how much more can they grow. Okay, hash rate difference from month to month. This is good. BTC sold value, this is how much they've been selling. Basically, whatever they've revenue was, that's what they sold. Last four quarters revenue, self-mining. We've talked about this in their quarterly results. When we do those, institutions increased by one. So 107 right now. Shares as 25.1 million. So that's an increase there. Percentage owned is also up a little bit here to 11.84%. We still have one buy rating and the price targets are $2 for the high average and low on them. And going down here, the miners that got installed here were these 100 terahash miners, uh, 9,000 of those roughly to get us to the 4.9. So it looks like they still have a little bit, I need to update this one. So yeah, they still have a little bit of growth. They're supposed to be at about 5.36 exahash. Uh, so that's kind of where that's getting us to. So they're almost, almost fully installed as it is. Okay, and they were operating pretty much for the full 30 days except for the new miners that were installed. Those were operating approximately 23 and a quarter days out of the month here. Uh, okay, let's take a look at the actual numbers here, the figures. So I currently have them at P15 because mainly because they are getting close to get, being fully installed. And the last four, four quarters are 21 million. Current quarter is actually more than uh, the prior three quarters of 25 million. So if we go forward looking, we could increase that 15 to possibly a 20, if not higher than that. And at that point, I would say that they are currently undervalued uh, or very lowly valued from where they should be, actually. So I would say anywhere between $2.22 through $3.34. But given that they might grow even further beyond that, uh, Bitcoin goes up in value. They could get 25, 30 uh, PE going forward. Um, so then that'll definitely help them out as well. So 278 to 417. And the only reason they're kind of low on that is because, well, the number of shares outstanding, right? So that always has an effect on the stock price as well. But overall, fantastic uh, growth by them over the past year. They've done a fantastic job growing and just growing month over month, which is great to see. Um, anytime you have lulls in production or in growth, you start having seeing a decrease in the BTC being produced because the network hash rate increases. So they've done a fantastic job, I think, here over the last year. Okay, there's other things you have to obviously take a look at, which is um, like the debt to equity ratios, current ratios and things like that. You have to take it all into consideration. So always do your own research on any of this stuff. Okay. All right. So 